dun 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 Keep it tight. 
You messed it up. <laughs> Dan, of course we have to fix it again. There you go. For the way you look at me Oh, it's for the only one I see V is very, very extraordinary E is even more than anyone that you adore can love And now for something completely different Oh, Hello. Hello. Susan as well. Am I back? Yeah. Yes, you're back. <laughs> nice, nice face, Mr. Pitt. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well done there. I must have like a blue face or something. Is this part of the interview? How are you finding lockdown? Do you know what? I will dare to say that I actually quite like it. Um, I'm a bit of a hermit as it is, and. I like my house, I like my dog, and I like my garden. What about us? <laughs> so from that point of view, I do like it. Have you learned anything new in lockdown? Not really, no. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I've learned lots of new things in lockdown. Into running, seeing how far I can run over a distance. I have learnt not to eat mouldy sausages. Sounds really nerdy. Back to calculus, there you go. <laughs> um, what do you miss most about your life before the lockdown? Um, you know, I live a pretty sort of dull life, so I, I don't really do much. Uh, I, c I can still drink nice wine. I can still drink great coffee. I can still play with my dog. Um, I can go for walks. I can read books. Um... What about us? Oh Who God. were your best and worst students of our year? Oh, I'm goodness. You the no, name. I don't want to answer it at all. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really say I've got a best or a worst Student. Jess there. Me? Um, don't worry, it's about you. We're a close second. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Uh, Kate, Anya, Lucy. Best students are my art students. The worst students are all the students in the sick form who come into the art room and nick equipment. Do you have one that surprised you the most, or like a few names that surprised you the most? Uh, not, not really. No. Which two students are most likely to end up together? It's almost, it's almost like turning into an episode of Love Island now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh, I was to say it would make a cute couple. I would go with maybe Sigal and Eitan. I don't even know, like, what? I'll probably say someone who's, all, who's already been together for ages, like, uh, um... I don't know. Why are you lying? Why are you always lying? Um, are you, you know, you hear rumours and you suspect things, but, um... You never really know. It could be, it could be anybody. You go to teacher for a chit chat. Depends if I'm, if I'm looking for funny conversation, really funny conversation, a little bit of banter. Um, you can't get any better than Miss Selby. What's the most memorable conversation you've had in the staff room? Oh, goodness. Whispering under the, da under the big table in the staff room once the evacuation alarm had gone off for a drill. Um, <laughs> trying not to giggle laughing and joking with Mrs Selby.
I just remember telling the story. We used to blindfold our kids and put them in the back of our car and drive them out into the countryside. Yeah, no, conversations in the staff room are not to be repeated. Talk about films and stuff like that, really, don't we? Yeah. yeah. I spilled coffee all over the floor. It's still there, the stain, the stain of coffee. The stain of coffee. It's still there, it's never been properly cleaned. Have they figured out who did it? It was me. Who would feature on their own reality TV show? Well, Emily, I think you do very well. I could see you, Emily. I could see you, you on a bit of really? a Really? <laughs> I can see Ruby, Libby. I think Hannah would give everybody a good run for her money. You. Thanks. We'd have to go on after nine o'clock, then. When, when have you been embarrassed by a student? Most embarrassing part ever, having to ask Ariel to take his shirt off. What's been your favourite memory with our year? Oh, my favourite memory. We used to have those bingo cards and we'd tick them off, things that we'd expect everybody to do in the lesson. You always thought I was going to come in wearing my coloured tights. I, I like this year group a lot. I mean, I would say that anyway, but um, no, this, this has been a great year group to work with. Aww. The class of our teacher have been great. A certain member of the class walked in and swung their um, bra around, let's say, as they entered the classroom. Well, I went with you, Emily, to Berlin, didn't I? So we, we went yeah. to Berlin and that, that was good, you know. I remember I remember ben, Benji Berkeley, like, uh, going wandering off down the bowling alleys. My favourite moment is Eve Miller had two black eyes and I thought she'd been beaten up and then it turned out she had a nose job. When the gift that the class bought me at the end of the year was um. a tie and it was personalised, it had all of the kind of quirky phrases that I use oh, and yeah. it was really, really nice, really personal, really quite touching, you know. I think my favourite memory with you, like when I was teaching you really, was um, getting you um, to um, express yourself. <laughs> What's the best gossip that you've heard about our year? I think nothing comes to mind, let's put it like that. Nothing? No. I know that's a lot of kind of... Um secretive whispering when I used to walk into the A-level lit classes and Theo used to blush red but I don't know I never really got to the bottom of that. Right, so what's been your worst lesson with our year? It's nothing, it's nothing specific. Um, I get I get angry but what I probably tend to do is walk out the classroom and discuss come back five minutes later when I've come. Is that what that was? Yes. What's the naughtiest thing that you've ever done? <laughs> <laughs> probably about eight or nine and I got a pair of scissors and decided to um, redesign my parents' curtains. I would recommend it to you, Lord's thing you always do at university, you'll inevitably find yourself having a traffic cone in your flat. Um, and uh, we actually took some um, empty beer barrels. Does Mrs Chappelle exist? Of course she does. God. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, Yana, she's at work, so no. Oh. <laughs> if you could give us one piece of advice, what would it be? I suppose a lot of you will be going off to uni now, uh, wanting to get into university. And I think the best advice I can give you when you're at uni, really, is just express yourself. <laughs> Express yourself You don't never need help From nobody else All you got to do now Express yourself Teddy, what do you want? I'm just going to have a drink. Goofy Goovers, it's been really a pleasure working with you all. And just remember, you've got to keep the knowledge. When you've got the knowledge, you've got the power. And when you've got the power, 
you can make loads of money. Loads and loads of money. Bye, Goobers. Hi, Year 13. Hope you're all okay. Just wanted to record a little message for you for your leaving video because I haven't seen you since March. I know that we had big plans for our Leavers video this year. We had so many funny scenarios um, that we were going to carry out and unfortunately we haven't been able to do that. Um, I just wanted to say thank you very much for the past two years. You have been the most amazing students, business and health and social care. Just absolutely incredible. I hope you've really enjoyed your time at our sixth form and I hope that you are all excited to start university or wherever you may be heading from September and I just hope you enjoy every minute of your future journey. I wish you all the best of luck. Thanks again for being the absolute best. We'll miss you all. Please keep in touch. Please call in. Say hi, obviously when it's safe to do so and I just hope that you're all okay and hope to see you soon. Bye. It's been quite um, an unbelievable year. So each one of you have really sort of gone through lots of different challenges and um, and really, you know, some of you have really surprised me and I'm amazed at what you've achieved uh, and your determination and your hard work and your focus. Um, and dedication and it makes me very very proud yeah there's loads that I miss and I guess for everybody I miss seeing people I miss seeing people at school so I really uh, miss seeing the students I'm teaching it's really odd um, just teaching people through online systems so I'm missing seeing them I'm really missing my exam classes who've kind of vanished so my year 13s and year 11 and really feeling sorry for you all that you've had to kind of disappear in this way with that kind of final goodbyes and exams bringing the year to the end so that's been really odd I really enjoy um, teaching the exam classes so yeah that's that's been really sad to see you all vanish into thin air. Hi year 13 I hope you have a wonderful time going on to university and apprenticeships and everything else that you have applied to do. Um, thank you to my gorgeous business and economics classes. I'm sorry that we didn't get to say goodbye properly. Um, so take care, have a fantastic summer, stay safe and healthy and um, love you lots. Bye. Year 13, it's uh, important to conclude uh, things properly, um, so here we go, uh, I have one final bit of advice for all of you to whom I've come to know and respect over the last few years, have courage and be kind. Have courage because we live in increasingly uncertain times and who knows what the future is going to be. Um, have courage to deal with these challenges and to move forward accordingly with your lives. Be kind because I think the world needs more of that considering everything that's going on. It has been my sincere pleasure to get to know you as well as I have been able to do so. Uh, and I can't wait to hear about all your future successes as you move forward in life. Please do keep in touch. Please do let us know how you're getting on. Uh, and again, I wish you the very, very best. So for the final time, unless you have any queries, worries, moans, groans, glooms, despairs, despondencies, any issues of any kind whatsoever, I wish you the very, very best. Hello. Well, uh, I got that a bit wrong, didn't I? They won't shut the school. We'll never get sent home. They won't cancel exams. There's no graph out on the roof. Yeah, I was a bit wrong about all of that one. So uh, sorry about that for, for those I was telling would, that you'd be fine. Um, well, this has all been a bit weird, hasn't it? Uh, just want to say a quick best of luck to all of you who are leaving, especially those obviously that I've, uh, I've been teaching in the last couple of years. Um, I wish you the very best for the future, whatever that might look like in September. Um, it's been an absolute honour and a pleasure uh, to have spent the time with you teaching you and uh, going a bit further back to, uh, to obviously being away with, with you and things like that uh, on various different trips. Um, I hope whatever uh, September and then the following year bring you have a great time uh, at whatever you're going on to do. Um, enjoy it, make the most of it, and uh, after all this craziness, uh, the world is your oyster. Enjoy.
Hi Year 13. Uh, it won't surprise you to know, I have no ambition of becoming a YouTuber, but as you can see, I'm slowly transmorphing into a Yeti before your eyes. Despite my aversion to appearing in videos, I really wanted to make sure you had a proper goodbye from me. And I'm so proud of the way you handled a very unusual end to your school career, and I really wish you could say farewell in person. Uh, I'm delighted to inspire some of you to refine your coffee drinking habits and indulge in some dull podcasts. And uh, please make sure that you uh, stay in touch uh, with all your good news. And if you've got any queries about UCAS, you know Mr. Pitt's email. Take care and see you soon. Oh, this is, no, I mean, this, this has been a lovely year group and I do, I do feel bad for you guys with, um, you know, what you've had to go through in year 13. Right? Um, so, yeah, as I say, I, I feel bad because it's been a really kind of disruptive year for you guys. But, um, you know, there's always a new year group that comes in, but no, I definitely miss this year group. I think you've been a great year group and uh, it's always nice when people come back and sort of tell us how they're getting on, you know. So, um, so no, it's been, it's been a great year group and uh, miss, miss you all, definitely, yeah. I think the relationships that, you know, I have with um, you know, almost everybody in the year group, having been head of year, you build up that relationship. If you look at the things that actually your year group have done, your head boys and girls, particularly the, um, the little safe room, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. Shows, a, shows a lot about your commitment, your kind of desire to work with other people and how much you care. Hello, Year 13. I want to wish you all the very best. You've been a magnificent year group, superb leadership. And I just want to say that I hope all your dreams come true. You deserve everything and I hope you get even more in life. You put in some work in life what you get out of life and I wish you all the very best indeed. I hope all goes well for you for the future, for Mr. Levy. Thank you. anything new in lockdown um such as learning oh that's which we go that we're expecting on and playing around yeah whose phone is it oh hadassi you've frozen oh is that it yeah that's it